Foreign spouses living in Korea are bound to get homesick at some point. But many are unable to visit their homes overseas due to the high cost of doing so. Those that recently took part in the KCTV project and revisited their hometowns say the trip has added vitality to their lives. Lee Hee Jung reports. As part of KCTV's project to help foreign spouses in Jeju revisit their hometowns, Kim Ji Young was able to return to the Vietnamese village she grew up in for the first time in four years. Her face immediately lit up just from seeing her mother, who she hadn't seen in the past few years due to her mother's poor health. But Kim also feels bad that her Korean family back in Jeju were not able to accompany her on this trip. Getting adjusted to life in a foreign country is tough for marriage migrants. Nostalgia adds to the difficulties they face in getting used to life in Jeju. Which is why giving them a chance to revisit their hometowns is proving to be of help in settling down in Korea. Currently, some 2,900 marriage migrants live in Jeju. Multicultural families have become a core part of today's Jeju society. And nationalities of origin have become more diverse over the years, with immigrants coming to Korea from Vietnam, China, the Philippines, and Cambodia. Uh, 도와준다기보다는 우리 가족과 같이 간다는 생각을 갖고 다문화 가족을 바라보는 것이 중요하다고 생각됩니다. KCTV has been organizing home visits for multicultural families since 2011. The program not only focuses on offering financial support for the families, but also wishes to be a stepping stone for a brighter future. Lee Hee-jung, KCTV.